Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another iRacing video and today it's just a really quick how to and that how to is how to see what split you're in just before you go into a race. So just really quick I'm going to cover two ways of doing it. One is how to actually see which split you're in but you can only do that once the server itself is open and the other is how to sort of predict which split you might be in. So let's jump straight in and have a look. Alright so I'm just going to join into a random unranked session because I don't want to actually join a proper session and then because uh, I'm not going to do the race for this I'm just um just demonstrating what to do. Alright, so the server is open now, so we're going to join into the race. And just got to wait for this loading screen. Cool, so once the actual server is open, once you're into the race session, then uh, alt tab out of, um, out of the simulation itself. And then you need to find your race. So if I go back into the same series, we can see that I'm entered into sort of both the race at the same time, so if there was more splits, that withdraw option would be um, sort of across more lines, if that makes sense. Um, the lower number is the highest split, so that is the lowest split, and that is the highest split, 992 is the highest split. Then go into entries, and you can literally search for your own name. So you can see Dan Parker. There's my session ID, so I am in the 992 split, which we just said is the higher split. So straight off the bat there, I know that I'm going to be in the higher of those two splits. Um, and that's absolutely confirmed, like that's, you know, there's, there's no guesstimations or anything about that. I am in the session 992, which is the higher split, uh, the higher split race there. Um, so that's uh, that's the way you can actually find out. So obviously you can't do that until the session's open, which means you're missing out on some practice time um, or some qualifying time. Normally if I'm wanting to know for sure which split I'm in, I'll probably qualify first. And then if I've got time after qualifying, that's when I'll jump over um, and actually have a look which split I'm in. So that's how to know for sure which split you're in. And now how to have a look at um, sort of an estimate before the actual race opens. So the other thing you can do if you want to uh, just sort of get an estimation for which split you're going to be in um, is to look at the season results. So when you go into this tab, you can see the last few races that have run um, probably on the same day, depending on what time of day you're doing this at. But you can see earlier on in the day, there was three splits, three again, four splits just there. And then as we keep going down, four splits to one, two, two. So the splits are sort of tapered off again. Um, I imagine that's as sort of as the states go to bed because it's um, Sunday morning right now. So to get an estimate, all you need to know is your rating, your I rating for the series that you're doing. So for this, it would be an oval race, obviously. So my rating currently on the road oval is 1624. So all you need to do to get an estimate is to try and find someone with a similar rating of yours. So that is sort of slightly lower than the, uh, the rating that I've just said that I'm at. So surely if I look through this split, so we've got someone there that's 1-5, 1-4, so in this race or in this, um, in this session that we've just shown there where there was only two splits, chances are I was going to be the top of those two splits, yeah? When it was four splits earlier on, well same thing, that average strength of field is lower than my rating so I'd have been in that top one again. This one's a bit more of an interesting one, all these top two. So strength of field 1717. So if we go into that one, that's pretty much the rating I've just said I'm at. So again, probably going to end up in top split just there. So yeah, that's going to work the same for, um, for any session that you wanted to join, no matter what the series is, whether it's dirt or road, um, whether it's oval or sort of road course. And that's just a good way to get an estimation before you even jump into a session. Um, just so you know, you've got a rough idea of how strong the strength of field is going to be and therefore sort of, you can kind of gauge what to expect in the race, sort of if you're going to be on the pace, maybe off the pace, um, it's sort of tend to find that the standard of racing is better as the I rating goes up. It's not, you know, it's not a hard and fast rule, but generally um, the racing is better at the higher strength of fields. Um, so yeah, that's just a good way of getting a gauge of it. So there you go, nice and quick and easy. A um, couple of things you can do to sort of have a prediction or to actually see um, at the time. And I know I've seen this question asked quite a lot online, so I just wanted to have my input. Um, 
give you a quick visual demonstration of what you can do because I know there was points sort of when I was first starting out in iRacing um, that I wanted to know that same question I couldn't find an answer anywhere easily online so yeah hopefully that's helped someone out somewhere uh, if it did please give the video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here and you want to see more sort of iRacing content yeah that's going to be everything for this video so take it easy and look after yourselves I'll catch you in the next one